So, under following inverse function, verify the truth by applying the relation. So, fgx is equal to gfx is equal to x. So, we try with a. fx is equal to 3x minus 2. And gx is equal to x plus 2 over 3. So we see here, so we find fgx and gfx. So for fgx, we take the front one, which is fx. fx is equal to 3x minus 2. So fgx is equal to 3gx minus 2. So g is equal to 3x plus 2 over 3 minus 2. So we only substitute gx x with gx. So we have x plus 2 minus 2 which is equal to x. And then for gfx, so gx is equal to x plus 2 over 3. So gfx is equal to, we change x to fx. So we have x plus 2 right. So which is fx plus 2 over 3. So we have fx is 3x minus 2 plus 2 over 3. So we have this one will be cut off. 3x over 3 is equal to x. So this is correct. So for b, okay. <clears throat> so for b, fx is equal to 2, 2 x over x minus 3. And gx is equal to 3x over x minus 2. So we find fgx, so we'll start with f. fx is equal to 2x over x minus 3. So fgx, substitute x with gx. So this one is x. x, 3, 2gx over gx minus 3. So gx is equal to 2, 3x over x minus 2 over gx is 3x over x minus 2 minus 3. So we see here to combine the denominator. So 3 times x minus 2 over x minus 2 here. So we get here fgx is equal to. So 2 times 3x is 6x. So 6x over x minus 2 over. So this one is 3x. So negative 3 times x is minus 3x. And then negative 3 times negative 2 is plus 6 over x minus 2. So x minus 2 can be cancelled out. So we get 6x over x minus 3. 3x minus 3x is, is 0 plus 6 is 6. So 6x six over x. 6x over 6 is equal to x. So we try with gfx. So gx is equal to 3x over x minus 2. So g f x is equal to 3 f x over f x minus 2. So we see here f x is 2 x over x minus 3. So 3 2 x over x minus 3 over 2 x over x minus 3 minus 2. So to combine it, so x minus 3 over x minus 3. Okay, so we have 6x, 3 times 2x is 6x over x minus 3. So here we have 2x, so minus 2, negative 2 times x is minus 2x. So negative 2 times negative 3 is plus 6 over x minus 3. So we have 6x over so 2 times 2, 2x two minus 2x is 0 plus 6, which is also equal to x. So this is, this has inverse function. fx is equal to 2 over x minus 3. And then gx is to c. gx is equal to 3x minus 2 over x. So we find fgx. So fx is equal to 2 over x minus 3. So fgx is equal to 2 over gx minus 3. So gx is equal to 2 over 
3x minus 2 over x minus 3. So to combine it, so this one is x over x. So we have 2 over, so 3x minus 2, so 3x minus 2, negative 3 times x is negative 3x over x. So this one over this one is equal to 2x over 3 minus 3. 3 minus 3 is 0, 0 minus negative 2, which is equal to negative x. Alright, now we try with gfx. So, so here gx is equal to 3x minus 2 over x. So, gfx is equal to 3fx minus 2 over fx. So, fx is equal to 2 over x minus 3 minus 2 over 2 over x minus 3. So, we have here is equal to 3 times, okay, so to combine here, you see, you see, 2 over x minus 3 over x minus 3. So, we have 3 times 2 is 6 minus 2 times x is minus 2x. Negative 2 times negative 3 is plus 6 over x minus 3 over 2 over x minus 3. So, this one can be cut off. 6 minus 6 plus 6 is 12 minus 2x over 2, which is 6 minus x, which is not equal to x. This one is not equal to x. This one is also not equal to x. So, this is not an inverse function. Mm. So, for d, fx is equal to 2 plus 5x and gx is equal to x minus 5 over 2. So you see here f g x. Okay, I start with f x first lah. So so f x is equal to two plus five x. So f g x we change inside here two plus five g x, which is equal to two plus five g x is x minus five over two. So we get. 2 plus 5x minus 25 over 2 or 5x minus 23 over 2. Okay. So now we, we test for gf. So gx is equal to x minus 5 over 2. So gfx is equal to f x minus 5 over 2 so we have f is 2 plus 5 x minus 5 over 2 so we have 2 minus 5 is negative 3 plus 5 x over 2 so we see here this one is this one is not similar so this is not an inverse function